We are just minutes away from the pre-order process for the Apple Vision Pro starting. And in this video, I wanted to walk you through the entire ordering process so that you know what to expect. I, however, have no idea what to expect. This could be a complete cluster. We have no idea how many units Apple's actually going to have available for sale in this pre-sale. So if I have any issues, I might be months out. I might not even be able to get one at all, but we'll go through the process and see what it looks like. With just four minutes left, I have my laptop ready. I have my iPad ready because you're going to need some kind of device, an iPad or an iPhone with Face ID to be able to scan your face to make sure that they give you the correct seals for your face. I also have my prescription card because when you're done, apparently you upload a copy of your prescription card so that you can get custom lens inserts for your Apple Vision Pro. I was debating whether or not to do that, but once I found out that you do this after the ordering process, I felt a little bit more comfortable about being able to do this in the amount of time that I think I need to do this. Now, I have no idea what I'm going to use the Apple Vision Pro for. It's new and exciting and I want to try it out and I think it's going to be pretty cool, but I'm not sure exactly what my use case is going to be. I mean, Apple shows a lot of things like using it for work, which might be kind of cool. Sure, maybe you're going to stand at your desk and display your monitor like in the Vision Pro and maybe have three different screens and that'll be pretty cool. But in the demo video, they also show this guy out walking around and talking to his coworkers with the Apple Vision headset on. And I just don't see people walking around the office with this thing on their face. Now, this is probably the real use case, right? Your own personal home theater and for playing video games and different things like that. So that'll be pretty cool. But apparently YouTube and Netflix won't be on there at least at the start. But I think once the platform grows, they will definitely come on board. Now I am slightly concerned about the strap design on these headsets, but apparently people prefer the, the dual headband, the one that has the option that goes over the head as well. So hopefully that is comfortable enough for me and for most people out there, but I am a little bit worried about the weight and how this thing is going to feel on my face after wearing it for more than 20 or 30 minutes. And we are down to 15 seconds. So we have to get ready to basically keep refreshing the darn page to see if we can try and pre-order one of these things. I don't know if I'm gonna use the laptop or the iPad. I guess maybe I'll just use the iPad because it might be a faster experience overall, but we'll see. So right now, Apple Store is still showing down. I like to just go ahead and keep force quitting the app and reopening it until I get something that actually gives me what I need. So it is past seven o'clock. Pre-ordering should be available. Apple Vision Pro pre-order. Gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and click on get started. First, get measured for your light seal and headbands. I'm going to allow, get started. Looks like we're going to scan my face. Okay, so just like Face ID, not bad. And they want to do a second scan. So again, like Face ID, just move your head in a circle. And there we go, face scan complete. That was pretty easy. Let's get a sense of vision to see da, 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 optical inserts. A few quick questions. So it's asking about if I wear glasses. Yes, I wear glasses. Do I wear contacts? Eh, let's say no for now. What kind of glasses do you wear? Prescription glasses. What do you use your prescription glasses for? For both up close and far away because I have an astigmatism, which really sucks. Does your prescription include a prism value? No, it does not. The type of Zeiss optical inserts you need are these ones, $149. Okay. Do I want to engrave them? No, that seems like a waste. All set, just upload your prescription when you're ready. Done. Great, okay. So storage capacity, 256 gigabytes for $3,500, 512 gigabytes for $3,699, and one terabyte for $3,899. Okay. Well, I mean, I have no idea what is going to go on this thing, and 256 gigabyte on my iPhone usually is fine, so I guess I'll just stick with the base model and see what happens. And then payment options, I want to buy it with the Zeiss lenses. I do I want Apple Care? Ooh, that is a good question. Um, I'll skip for now, and then I guess if I want it later, I will just go ahead and do the monthly payments later. So Apple Vision Pro 3648 with the optical inserts. What's in the box? Bunch of stuff. And where's my add to order? Oh, no Apple Care. There we go. Add to bag. 
Do I want an accessory case? Ooh, that's kind of cool. $199, holy cow, $199 for that, for this travel case. That is crazy. Add to bag. I mean, I guess, <laughs> it's insane. Um, Belkin battery holder, that's kind of cool. We'll see what that looks like. Uh, you can get another Apple Vision Pro battery for $199. I'll skip that for now, and I think I'm just going to use a USB-C battery charger connected to it to extend the battery life if that's what I need. So add to bag. Da, 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 da. So I got all my accessories. I got the Vision Pro. Total is ugh, $4,218. Blah. We'll buy with Apple Pay because that should be the fastest way to get checked out. So Apple Pay, I can do pick up in store, pick up in store, pick up in store. Well, let's see if we can do pick up in store for early that day. So we'll pick the second. Oh, choose a the time. There we go. 11.30 a.m. Okay. Let's do 11.30 a.m. Pick up in store for all of it for the second at 11.30 a.m. Terms and conditions. I agree. Continue. And now I can select my payment. So now I can choose my Apple Pay payment options. And double click to pay. And processing. Uh. Payment failed? Why did payment fail? That's weird. So I have to choose my time again, which is now 2.30 p.m. That sucks. Continue with Apple Pay. Let's change to a different card, I guess. Double click to pay. Processing. Come on, work. Payment failed. What the heck is going on? Well, this isn't going well. There's no reason that my payments should be failing. That doesn't make any sense. Do I switch to delivery? Well, this is not going well, so now, for some reason, I can't seem to actually finish the checkout process. The payments are failing for no reason. And now it says delivery February 6th for the Apple Vision Pro. Man, okay, well, let's try pick up in store one more time. Hit continue, Oop, checkout time, dang it. Choose the time. So now I'm at Saturday the 3rd at 12 p.m. Continue to payment. Accept terms and conditions and continue to pay. Wow. Okay, so it is not accepting my payment for some reason. I have no idea why. Yeah, there's no reason it shouldn't be accepting my payments. Switch to the Apple Card. <laughs> there is plenty of room on the Apple Card. Let's try that guy. Fail! Oh, what is going on here? We're going to switch to since nothing else is working. Or we'll just go to checkout. Man, this is not going great. So we'll just try the non Apple Pay version. Agree to terms. So, Saturday the 3rd at 4.30, jeez. Visa, agree to all the terms, place order. Now I'm at 5.30 p.m. on Saturday because every time I do any update on here, it changes the date and time or the, at least the time to a further time. Yep, see, there it is, pickup method. It's telling me to choose a time. Now we're at 6.30, done. Place order. Any luck here? Is this gonna work? Finally, holy cow, okay, so. That really sucks. So now I'm pushed out to Saturday at 6.30 p.m. for my pickup of my Apple Vision Pro because Apple Pay was not working for some stupid reason. But at least I got something ordered. So I guess I won't have my Vision Pro until Saturday evening on the 3rd. So I probably won't have content till the 4th or the 5th. If you're interested in seeing that, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. But that was the ordering process for the new Apple Vision Pro. It did not go Super smooth for me using Apple Pay. For some reason, Apple Pay kept failing no matter what card I chose to do the purchase with. But once I chose to do just the regular checkout and entered my saved credit card information in there, it worked just fine with the exact same cards that I was trying to use with Apple Pay. So during the ordering process, the first thing it did was essentially scan your face to make sure that it gives you the correct seal for your face size, which I guess if you're sharing this with anyone might lead to some issues. The second thing it asked was, did you want optical inserts for your Vision Pro? It asked you a couple questions based on your prescription. And then how much storage space did you want? The base is 256, comes with also 512 or one terabyte. And then that was it. Then you could choose accessories. And now the next thing that it should do is ask me for my prescription. So let me check my email. And here's my confirmation email, it shows the Apple Vision Pro, the accessories are added. And then if I scroll down, right here it shows that I have the Zeiss optical inserts, and I need to tap here to upload the prescription. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. And it brings you to the order status page on the web, and I'm going to continue to upload. 
So I'm going to scan or select, uh, let's see, I'll scan a document. So it says here that Zeiss will review and verify my prescription. And then down below says, if you're over 40, it may add an additional bit of power to your prescription because things are gonna be close to your face. And unfortunately I have to click, yes, I am 40. I agree to the terms and upload to Zeiss. And that is it. So I'm not sure how long it will take for them to verify my prescription for these lens inserts, but those will be shipped out to me, I guess, separately at another time. I guess I'm waiting on an email for that. And that was the entire ordering process for the Apple Vision Pro. It wasn't the most fun because, well, it's early in the morning and things didn't go quite as smoothly as I had hoped. But what do you guys think about the Apple Vision Pro? Is it something you're going to order or are you waiting to see what all the idiots like me think about this device when they spend their hard-earned money on it? Let me know down below. But either way, hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.